So how can we accomplish the following synthesis? Well, let's look at our starting material and the product. The product here is an open chain molecule, while our starting material is a cycle, which means that at some point in our synthesis we'll have to cut through carbon-carbon bonds, and the best way to cut through the carbon-carbon bonds is going to be the azonolysis reaction. Now, in order to do the azonolysis, we need to have a double bond. So how do we make a double bond? Well, of course, by the elimination reaction. And we already have an alkyl halide as our starting material. So I'm going to take our starting material, bromocyclohexane, treat that with a base, and get the cyclohexene product as a result. Now, in order to cut through this double bond over here, we are going to do step one of azonolysis, which is the reaction with O3, followed by the workup like DMS or zinc and acid, cutting through our double bond and giving us the following dialdehyde. Now, our product here is an aldehyde, however, the final product that we are looking at is going to be an alcohol, which means that we are looking to get from the ketone to an alcohol and that is going to be a reduction reaction. So I'm going to use something like sodium borohydride and methanol to reduce those aldehydes and give me my target molecule. Easy peasy.